I'm gonna cook today a very simple meal but delicious and I know every Filipinos love it and also not cost much anyway I saw some other people not only Filipino love this food I saw some in the restaurant that they ordered it and eat that and they said it's really really good so let's go we're gonna cook sisig i'm gonna try to cook tonight sisig but it's a combination of pork and chicken sisig so here's the ingredients for tonight's sisig it's 150 grams pork cut it in a very tiny way 50 grams chicken the same way on how I cut the pork garlic onion butter and the limoncito or the Philippine lemon pepper that make it extra hot or depends really but I just put a minimal pepper because I don't want so much hot spice ground black pepper with salt to taste two tablespoons of soy sauce and of course the eggs to garnish when seasick is almost cooked i only cook two serving of seasick that's why i used a little pan in that and just the same the standard way before putting the oil on the pan be sure it's already hot just a little bit oil in that and then the same as usual put the garlic first mm -hmm. I put the garlic first because I really love the aroma on that And then I will put the butter so that the garlic will not burn easily. And the butter will give different taste of your cooking really. Plus it avoid the spices not to burn easily. So we will put the onions. Mmm, smells good already. The combination of garlic, onion, and butter that really riches around. Mm -hmm. So add the pork. After putting the pork in the pan, you need to add the pepper. The ground pepper and salt and the soy sauce then mix it for so after stirring it uh, we will lower the heat and then simmer it for 10 minutes simmering for 10 minutes, add the chicken. I put the chicken So after simmering for 10 minutes, add the chicken because the chicken is easy to cook that pork. 
and next 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 so after adding the chicken into the pot we need to cook it for another three minutes since it is cooked now so i need to crack the egg and put in the top of it Mm -hmm. Actually, you have two choices. Just to half cook the egg or to make it well done. So, seasoning is cooked and I add the egg on top. It depends upon on you if you want half cooked or well done. So my seasoning is done and we will try to taste it. So I get to taste my seasoning, how it really tastes with the red rice. Of course, seasoning is really good with the rice. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You see it? Mm -hmm. This is simple, easy, fast, and affordable food. I should garnish it with chicharron, or charoni, but not available in the house and I cannot go out easily with times. So I just do what I can have. I asked him what happened after I left, and he told me that she was unimpressed with how we treated hmm. her, so she will find somewhere else to get her son away. The store was wow. allowed to decide if someone can purchase an animal, and I doubt they would have let her anyway. Speaking of pets, do you guys have any pets? And if so, what kind? Please let us know. I have a poodle. Yeah. And she means everything to me. Can the hotness is just moderate. To go for our meeting in and you can still taste the chicken in the pork because if it's too hot, not good for me. And just a little bit pepper. Yeah, but depends your reference, really. Mmm, sorry guys. You forgot to eat that. Thank you so much for always watching my videos and hopefully you will apply at the simple food and delicious one in your house. It's really easy and fast. Thank you so much for watching.